Have you ever had an uneasy feeling that something is just not right about a particular person? That frequent sense of intuition that never keeps you rested? Well, with a Sigma female, this is quite a normal occurrence. This is because your body uses physical cues such as uneasiness, a tense shoulders, or a knot in the stomach that keeps you alert that something is wrong. In many cases, Sigma female subconsciously detects narcissist who manipulates other people through their body language. As a personality coach, I am aware of how perplexing these exchanges may be, and I have gone about to simplify these strategies of narcissistical identification to its lowest form. In daily conversations, narcissists might be difficult to spot, but if you know what you're looking for, you can begin to decode the silent signals and uncover hidden manipulation through body language alone. In this video, I'll give you three non-verbal clues that'll help you spot a narcissist in your everyday conversations. Personal stories from my own experience and rare systems Sigma Females uses to recognize these patterns and actionable strategies, which empowers them in any given moment, making sure they always stay one step ahead from narcissistic individuals. Have you ever been in a conversation and felt overshadowed by someone else, even without saying anything at all? as though you were physically shrinking while they looked to be taking up the entire space. When analyzing narcissistic body languages, our first clue is the tendency to physically control space. Self-absorbed narcissists generally demonstrate extreme exposure. Often taking center stage, they command everyone's attention and establish themselves as the main attraction among friends. You will notice that they are aloof and often move widely. In order to create a bigger, and a more commanding image during a conversation. They frequently stand with their hands on their hips, chin up, or arms outstretched. They do this to ensure that they are the center of attention at all times by controlling the area around them. Sigma women have perfectly understood that, with narcissists, big gestures are not necessary for them. Their power and dominance is innate in their demeanor and the reactions of those around them. This moment isn't just their greatest moment of winning over people's interests is their most powerful way of asserting control over their space and everyone in it. This scene sets the tone for their character and brilliantly showcasing how a grandiose narcissist dominance simply presents. On the other hand, Sigma females could likewise take control over this same space. However, they choose not to. Instead, they typically use a more nuanced and direct approach. Rather than making obvious movements, they instead stealthily move into a position from where they can watch and manage the situation with less complexity. They might select seats that put them in advantageous positions or discreetly encroach on someone's personal space in an effort to feign innocent and spook others. In spotting a narcissistic person, the key is to start noticing when people consistently takes over conversations or setting, like alphas, or manipulate situations behind a called facade. This awareness can help you protect yourself against manipulation more effectively. People who are naturally focused on taking care of others, such as myself and you, may miss these indications. Rather than viewing someone's desire for space as a manipulative ploy, you would probably readily accommodate it, believing instead that they are simply being strong or confident. Based on my personal observations, the warning sign is to take note of your response when someone attempts to take over your area. In such cases, a Sigma woman will easily sense the discomfort that prevents her from settling into her personal space. She could notice that she is slouching, lowering her head, or crossing her arms. When you're an empathetic person like a Sigma, although rare, you might miss these cues because you naturally focused on caring for others. You'd probably easily accommodate someone's need for space, thinking that they're just being strong or confident rather than seeing it as a manipulation tactic. In my own experience, the red flag is to notice how I react when someone tries to dominate the space around me. However, a Sigma females might find herself unconsciously trying to make herself smaller, as if it's unsafe to take up space. And even though she might not recognize that response right away, she will immediately notice a discomfort that stops her from relaxing into her personal space. Sigmas might catch themselves slouching or tilting their head down However, this doesn't always mean she is dealing with a narcissist. It's a physical sign that you need to be cautious. When you feel someone is dominating the space around you as if they're physically overshadowing you, try the mirror and match test. This tool checks for their awareness and reaction to shared physical space. 
taking a subliminal narcissistic exam. To begin, gradually mimic the Sigma nonverbal cues. Take a similar posture to narcissist if they are standing with their hands on their hips. Next, progressively change your alignment to a more neutral position. A warning sign of narcissism is when someone adopts an increasingly dominant posture while disregarding your more balanced attitude. This can be an indication of a lack of empathy and awareness. Make a forceful body language to disengage. Say with confidence, I need to take care of something as you stand up straight and make eye contact. I apologize, but I have to. Not requesting permission to end the conversation. This approach attends to your needs and preserves authority. Have you ever encountered someone whose greetings appear friendly and inviting, yet their facial expressions or gestures felt oddly mismatched? This is our second clue to spotting the body language of a narcissist. Contradictory body signals. Grandiose narcissists often use a calculated approach in their interactions displaying a significant contradiction between their verbal expressions and their body language. They may smile broadly, projecting an image of friendliness and openness, yet their eyes often tell a different story, cold and detached, indicating a lack of genuine interest and a more calculating disposition. This discrepancy between their words and their genuine feelings or bodily reactions indicates that they are trying to dominate and manipulate others while concealing their true intentions and emotional distance, which is one of definite disappointment. Contradictory body language is displayed by covert narcissists in a more subdued and frequently perplexing manner that can sway views and inspire sympathy. It's challenging to estimate the covert narcissist's true feelings or intentions due to this constant fluctuation between appearing vulnerable and emotionally distant, a tactical move intended to keep others off balance and more susceptible to manipulation. For example, have you ever been around this kind of a person, although tough, they rather put on a mask of vulnerability to hide their aggressive intents. They manipulate others around them with contradicting body language typically lifting their eyebrows to project innocence and friendliness in an effort to come across as innocent and win people over. These kind of person underlying manipulative goal is shown by the sharp contrast between their last smug smile and their supposedly innocent gestures. Of course, contradicting body languages can often appear subtler and be more difficult to spot in person. But these scenarios can assist you in identifying important trends if you keep them in mind. Now follow my lead, let's spot a narcissist. You see that friend who expresses gratitude yet wears a disappointed look on their face. They one that makes amiable gestures that often come across as forced or fake. Yes, that right, there is a narcissist. Being Sigma means that you can easily overlook thing that is, you're focused on understanding others. You might interpret mismatched verbal and nonverbal cues as strange quirks rather than manipulations. For me, the first clue is realizing that I don't trust someone, even if I can't immediately pinpoint why. Try the consistency check test if you notice contradicting body language, such as someone being pleasant but quietly invading your personal space or saying encouraging things but in a condescending manner. This technique tests their consistency in expressing their emotions, helping to evaluate whether the mismatch is a cause for concern or just a simple mistake. Start by paying great attention to the feelings they are verbally expressing, then go further into that subject. If they bring up excitement, for example, go into additional detail about what's interesting about the topic. Pay close attention to their facial expressions. If their facial expressions begin to match their words more readily, it could indicate that the earlier discrepancy was only a phase of awkwardness. But if they keep sending out conflicting messages, such as voicing agreement while their facial expressions show skepticism, or saying they're happy to see someone while avoiding eye contact, it points to a deliberate facade. This persistent inconsistency between their spoken words and nonverbal cues could be a manipulation tactic designed to mislead or to control the emotional tone of the situation. Like and subscribe to this channel if you have loved this video so far. When someone's eye contact looked abnormally lacking or excessively intense during a conversation, have you ever felt uneasy about it? The control of eye contact is our third indicator of a narcissist's body language. Making eye contact is a common dominance tactic used by grandiose narcissists. To assert dominance and control over the exchange, they may maintain a strong eye contact with you for longer than feels appropriate. 
This intense look is intended to establish their control and make you feel inferior. It might feel intimidating or even menacing. Conversely, subtle narcissists could make more subtle eye contact. They can avert their eyes from you in an attempt to make you feel uneasy or to hide their actual motivations. As an alternative, they could make irregular eye contact and turn their head away at important times, which can make you feel uneasy and devalued. The purpose of this chaotic behavior is to throw you off balance so that you'll be simpler to manipulate. This deceptive application of showing eye contact is designed to unsettle others while maintaining a facade of innocence or confusion. In real life, the signs of eye contact manipulation might be more subtle and trickier to spot. The key is to start noticing patterns, creating an air of unpredictability or insecurity. Recognizing these behaviors can help you understand underlying intentions and protect yourself from subtle forms of manipulation. Due to your innate desire to help and connect with others, those who are sympathetic may overlook these indicators. Someone's focused stare could be interpreted as deeply thinking or engaged, or you could write off irregular gaze avoidance as just shyness or preoccupation. It's crucial to keep in mind that these cannot be harmless personality traits, but rather calculated actions meant to agitate or control. Observing your response when someone makes eye contact with you should be a warning sign for you. Someone staring at you too long, making you feel overwhelmed for no apparent reason, is another sign to watch out for. Although this innate unease may be mild, it's a clue that things may not be as straightforward as it looks. While intense eye contact doesn't always mean we're dealing with a narcissist, it's an indication to pay special attention to the power dynamics and to proceed with caution. When you suspect that someone might be manipulating the conversation with their use of eye contact, 1. Try the blink rate mirror test. This technique tests their adaptability and reveals their intentions through changes in eye contact. Begin by matching their blink rate. If they blink slowly, mimic this to gauge their response. Next, deliberately lower your blink rate even further so that each blink is deliberate and peaceful. Keep a watchful eye on their response. If they adapt to this shift, it may be a sign of a sincere effort to establish communication. If, on the other hand, they continue or even increase their original blinking pattern, it indicates that they are trying to exert control over the interaction. Once you've tried the slower blink rate, go back to your regular pattern and observe how they react. Remain vigilant if they persist in maintaining their peculiar eye contact instead of adjusting to your own pace. This rigidity frequently portends a delay. Characteristics linked to narcissistic personalities include signs and underlying manipulative tendencies or discomfort with sincere interpersonal interactions. Anyone who wants to understand narcissists must do so, but it's hard to tell for sure who you're speaking with by selectively studying nonverbal cues. What's even more important is to learn how to spot them in everyday conversation. And if you know what to look for, you can spot them within seconds. So click this video next to learn the 10 ways people fear Sigma females.